not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. But the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. I'd like to share with you that this week I saw a miracle performed by the Lord. This week I saw my unbelieving uncle become born again. This week I saw my uncle, who used to be the mocker described in Psalm chapter 1, become righteous through the blood of Jesus Christ. This week I saw that my uncle, who was at death's door, because that is what God chose to use to break him, this week my uncle cried out and accepted the Lord Jesus as his Lord and Savior. God gave my uncle a vision of hell, and in that vision he saw that the fire never died, that it was dark, and that it was dreary, and that people were screaming, and that hell went on deeper and deeper and deeper, and he could see no end to the depths of it. He saw demons running everywhere, and they were chasing him, and the demons were leading him through tunnels and through doors, and finally, they led him to one final door. Physically, his body was at death's point, and spiritually, God was showing him the last door that he would go through was death. And when the demon said to him, do you want to go through this door, he said, no, I don't. And he cried out, save me, Jesus, and Jesus did. He is born again. He has been brought from darkness to light, and he has been taken from death to life. And everyone here can have that same hope that my uncle had that when they die, they could be with the Lord Jesus for all eternity. If only they would forsake their sin. If only they would repent and acknowledge that they are not their own God. If they would acknowledge that their flesh is wicked. If they would acknowledge that the enemy, Satan, wants to lead them straight down the path to hell. If they would acknowledge those things and turn from their sin and ask Jesus to be the Lord and Savior of their lives, everyone here, too, could have that same hope. And that is my prayer for all of you tonight. Thank you.